Don't mess with Texas. Yeah. You know, uh, uh, when I met Robert, I mean, I met, I met, uh, I met, uh, <laughs> I met a director. I met a, <laughs> I met a true friend, uh, and uh, we've done a lot of uh, a lot of good work together. I mean, he's uh, the captain of the ship, and every time I get interviewed, people ask me, uh, "Do you and Robert have a uh, you know like communication when you're working?" I go, uh, "Yeah." What's that? Uh, tells me what to do. <laughs> and uh, he hadn't been wrong in about 11 movies. And I, uh, it's funny, this award, I want to I wanna thank the uh, uh, Austin. Yeah, and uh, I want to thank, uh, I want to thank Robert, Elizabeth. And, uh, I want to thank, uh, a lot of the people that uh, you know put this together, uh, you know, my whole family is from Texas. I got to tell this story. My entire family is from San Antonio. My mom is from Marfa. You know, now some of you, don't, you know, damn. <laughs> Last time I went with those five people that I don't know, must have grown, but but I, I you know, I've caught my grandfather when he got here from Mexico, he was he loved Texas. He was like a Tejano straight. That was it, you know, and uh, and uh, he raised his family and 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 uh, you know would never leave Texas and had a little market over in San Antonio. And you know the, the girls. Yeah, I think there was eleven in the family. They started getting married, moving out, you know, and moving out, and uh, you know a lot of them went all over. But uh, he was so sure that Texas was going to eventually leave the United States. Honest to God, I swear to God, I swear. He was so sure that any time any of his daughters would get pregnant or any of his sons' wives would get pregnant, he would bring them to Texas so the babies would be born in Texas. You know, honest to God. My generation, they're all from Texas. My dad uh, was a bit of a player. and uh, he, he, went out, he went out to Los Angeles and uh, met my mom. They got together and then he came back to Texas. And, and uh, So I was born in L.A., you know, and... Uh, uh, all my life, I gotta say it, I've, I've fallen short. Doesn't matter what I did. You know, if I did something good, it was, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah but, but you're not from Texas. And, uh, <laughs> you know, and, and uh, if I did something bad, which was most of the time, uh, <laughs> well, that's yeah, because you're not from Texas. And uh, I, uh, I visited. You know, getting here, the, the journey here, I, I, uh, I visited every penitentiary in the state of California. And uh, I, uh, I wasn't, uh, <laughs> some other people visited too. I, uh, I wasn't, you know, it's on my, it's on my record. It actually says, uh, does not play well with others, you know. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I got into making film by accident. I was a drug counselor. I was working with kids, and I, and one night a kid called me up and said, "Hey, I'm having a lot of problems." In 1985, and I, uh, I'd been out of prison a while, and I was this drug counselor. And I just went to hang out with him, and I happened to run into a friend of mine, who were we were actually in prison together, a guy named Eddie Bunker, and uh, he knew that I was lightweight and welterweight champion of every penitentiary I was in, and. Uh, and he said, hey, we need somebody to train an actor how to box. And I just got to say, what's it pay? And he said, 320 a day. And I said, how bad you want this guy beat up, Holmes? You know, I, I thought he was mad at somebody. You know, 
I started training an actor named Eric Roberts, How to Box. And, and uh, the director saw that uh, I could, uh, uh, Eric respected me, so he'd do whatever I told him to do. And, uh, and uh, the director saw that, Andre Kozlowski, and he came up and he actually said, you be in this movie. That was what you call my break. And I just, you know, I was inmate number one for a long time. I did, I did about the first five years of my career, I was inmate number one, or mean Mexican guy, <laughs> tattooed guy. You know? And then uh, I got a break and I got a name. I was Art Sinella in a movie called uh, Death Wish 4 with Charles Bronson. And I worked, you know, I worked. I'd get two, three days on a movie. And then uh, my agent, Gloria, uh, sent me to do this Desperado, check out for this Desperado. And I'd read about Robert. I'd read about Robert and I, I, uh, I you know, knew, wow, this is like cool. I walked in and he handed me a knife. You know, I, I wanted to tell him that part of my parole plans are no sharp objects, you know. <laughs> And the ironic thing, he said it, I've been called a sharp object in every movie we've done. <laughs> and, and, uh, uh, except for once upon a time in Mexico, I was El Cucuy. And uh, so uh, I can't wait to show this to my family, honest to God, I can't. Yeah. <laughs> And I know that my, my grandfather, Donicio Trejo, right now is saying, he finally made it. God bless you. Thank you very, very much. Thank you. It has the Texas seal on it. One thing that, uh, again, I, I, just, I just had to, you know, the, the Austin Film Society and Robert Rodriguez have done more for independent filmmaking, and Elizabeth have done more for independent filmmaking than anybody I've known. And I, and I mean that. I've been around for a long time. God bless you guys. Thank you so, so much. <laughs>